Okay, so uh, I have all those tank threads, the group of the, the controller and the geometry uh, connected with my curve. So I just go one by one, select the group, shift select the curve, and use the attach to motion path option here, apply to connect them to the, the curve. And if you can see that everything here is going to be connected, all those 30 geometry is moving onto the curve. Okay, uh, next what I want to do here is I want instead of moving them by related with the time slider, I want them to move by the lure which is going to be under this controller here. Uh, whenever I move my lure, I want them to move together with the lure, not the time slider. So once if I just select one of them and if I go here window node editor and hit this input and output connection you can see there is a motion path u value which is going to be uh, set it as based on the time slider but what I want to do here is I want this to be connected with not the time slider but the controller here so Easily what you can do here is uh, go to window, generate editor, connection editor, open the connection editor and uh, select my controller, whatever controller you want to control this and put that on my left and I'm going to connect it with my lower which is going to be this one. Okay, and then uh, I want my uh, motion path U value to be the right side and I want them to be connected with the input here. So once I connect the lure to the input, the motion path is no longer connected with the time slider, but with the controller, what you have. Okay, but this, it might be a time consuming, like you have to connect everything here and place them in here to the right and connect, 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 connect. Simply what you can uh, save a little bit of time here is actually all those uh, uh, motion path value is going to be the same except the number here. The, so just the number changes. The first one is going to start from 1, the second one is going to be uh, 2, 3, and uh, so on and so forth for the last one. So uh, instead of doing that, what we can do is go here on top here and change it to select it by name. And uh, what you can do here is I'll, I'll type exactly the same name except the number, okay? Instead of the number, I'm going to use the asterisk. So uh, put that asterisk here and U value and hit enter on your keyboard. Okay, so once you do that, it's going to select not just this one, but everything that has numbers related before the motion path and the after the uh, U value, it's going to select everything uh, related with that. Uh, so if you want to show, see if you selected it right, then what you can do here is uh, go here, key under the key, hold down the space bar, key, set driven key, set, and it's going to show all those values that you have selected right now, okay? And yeah, so I have from one motion path one to 30. Okay, good, uh, once you have that, put that on your right, and then uh, connect the lower with the input, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and finally the 30. 
Okay, so I have connected them with the lower controller. So now if I select my controller and if I start uh, using my lower with the mouse and drag it, you can see that it's no longer uh, spinning with uh, the time slider, but it's going to spin with the lure that I have created here. Okay, so when once the th uh, lure is 360, it's going to go all the around, or the way around to 360. Here, it's going to have a uh, create a uh, one cycle here. 